Now, this whole climate thing is actually really beginning to wind me up. Don't get me wrong, I am all for chucking, not chucking plastic bags into rivers and being mindful of other species living on the planet. But when it comes to carbon emissions and climate change, I'm sick to my back teeth of smug electric car drivers. During this whole fuel crisis, some of my very smug electric car owner friends called me to gloat. So let's examine the carbon footprint of the electric car. The components, such as lithium, are scarce in resource, yet, on average, each car will require some 4,000 lithium battery cells, presumably mined in a country where labour can be exploited, like China. The cars themselves are considerably heavier than their fossil fuel friends and are so silent that you won't hear them coming. So if they hit you, even going slowly, good luck getting up. And here's Boris Johnson getting stuck in at a Nissan plant with, that makes electric cars. Then there is, of course, the infrastructure required to support them. So charging points for all, including those living in high-rise flats and people without garages and driveways. Are we seriously going to dig up pavements and roads to accommodate this? That's if it's even possible. Now, the charging itself, apparently, if we all plugged in our electric cars at the same time, for example, overnight, which would be perfectly reasonable, the national grid would buckle and blackouts would be commonplace. Energy is also used to manufacture the vehicle, and in particular, the battery. So... There is also the small matter of disposing of that battery. This push to own electric vehicles, driven, pardon the pun, by a middle-class elite is another vapid, ill-thought-out concept. It's all right for them with their driveways and garages where they can conveniently charge these contraptions overnight. But what happens if you haven't got that facility? What if it runs out of juice, for example, on a smart motorway? Don't get me started on those, please don't. It wouldn't surprise me if this latest fuel hoax, which was, has allowed many garages to double their prices, was firstly to make up for the fact that no one was buying any fuel during the pandemic, and secondly to push us further down the electric car route. Also in the pipeline are the hydrogen-powered cars and boilers, but I'm sure we can cast our mind back to what happened to the Hindenburg. I mean, if you're too young to remember it, just, just Google it or take a look at that picture. Basically, the climate impact of electric cars depends on how the electricity you use is made. Whilst, of course, there are no greenhouse emissions directly from electric vehicles, they run on electricity that is, in large, in most parts of the world, still produced from, you've guessed it, fossil fuels.